Hey, hey, she got Game Nation. If you thought Caitlin Clark was just another rookie, you better sit tight because this girl just keeps shattering records after records like it's her side hustle. And last night? Well, let's just say the Target Center was the place to be. The Indiana Fever pulled up, and so did the hype. I mean, what's better than watching Caitlin Clark ball out in front of her idol, Maya freaking Moore, on the night of her Jersey retirement? Yeah, you got me right. This was one for the books. So, are you ready to dive into the madness that went down in Minneapolis? But listen up. If you're a Caitlin Clark fan, you're gonna love this. Before you bounce, hit that subscribe button on She Got Game. We're gunning for 10K subs, and we need your help to hit that milestone. So you don't miss out on any fresh drops. Let's dive in. All right, let me set the scene for y'all. The Minnesota Lynx were hosting the Indiana Fever, and Target Center was buzzing like crazy. Why? Because Caitlin Clark was in the building, and trust me, when she shows up, she brings her squad with her, both on the court and in the stands. But this game had that extra spice. It was Maya Moore's night, and the Lynx fans showed up deep to give their queen the flowers she deserves. So, what happens when a rising star meets a living legend? Pure basketball magic, that's what. Now, I ain't gonna lie, Caitlin started slow. But we all know that's just the calm before the storm, right? The first quarter was a little rough, but let's be real. Who wouldn't be starstruck playing in front of Maya Moore? Even superstars get the jitters. But then, just like that, Caitlin flipped the switch. She drained a mid-range jumper and bam, 500 points for the season. The crowd went nuts. Fastest player to hit 500 points and 200 assists in just 29 games? Say less. This girl is on a mission and she's not wasting any time. By the time the second quarter rolled around, it was clear Caitlin wasn't here to just play. She was here to show out. With 11 points just in the second, she was cooking. Silky smooth dribbles, pinpoint passes, and that three-point shot, wet like water. She had the fever crawling back into the game and Minnesota fans were on the edge of their seats. You could feel the energy shift every time she touched the ball. And when halftime hit, it was a one-point game. 44-45, the Lynx were sweating. No cap. Caitlin's always been about that record-breaking life, and last night was no different. She's now the only rookie in WNBA history to hit 500 points and 200 assists in under 30 games. That's goat talk right there. Oh, and did I mention she's got 13 games with 20-plus points this season? Yeah, she's running the rookie show. Angel Reese is out here with three 20-point games, but Caitlin? 13, baby. And she's not just a scorer. She's doing it all. 20 points five rebounds, five assists. That's 11 games with that stat line. Only Brianna Stewart's got more, and that's just by one game. Heading into the second half, it was clear Caitlin wasn't done. She dropped eight more points with that classic Clark swag, five in the third quarter and three in the fourth. Even though the Fever couldn't close it out, losing 90-80, Caitlin's stat line was fire. 23 points, five boards, eight dimes, and a steal. All this in 38 minutes of pure hustle. The girl was everywhere. Every dribble, every pass, every shot. It was like she had something to prove. And in front of Maya Moore, you know she was playing with a little extra sauce. After the game, the vibes were real. Caitlin and Kelsey Mitchell hit the post-game presser and it was all love. Kelsey gave props to the Minnesota fans, saying they didn't make it all about Caitlin, even though they could have. And Caitlin, she was mad grateful. She took a moment to soak it all in. How the Lynx fans not only showed up for Maya, but also gave her mad respect. Obviously, a lot of people here that wear fever stuff or wear, you know, Caitlin Clark shirt, whatever. But at the same time, they understand really good basketball and that they can appreciate what the Lynx did and who the Lynx are. Um, and also their history. Like, they know who oh, Maya sure. Moore is. They know, you know, she's one of the best of all time. So they're here to celebrate her and appreciate her, too. It's clear she's not just about breaking records. She's about respecting the game and those who paved the way. But here's the thing. Even after a tough loss against the Minnesota Lynx, Clark and her Indiana Fever squad bounced back in a big way. They took on the Atlanta Dream, and it was a straight-up dogfight for that playoff spot. The Fever came out on top with an 84-79 win, and let me tell you, it was intense. Both teams are scrapping for every inch, trying to secure their spot in the playoffs, and the Fever just took a big step forward. So, with her fourth three-pointer of the night, Clark made history, tying Ryan Howard's WNBA single-season rookie record for most three-pointers. She now shares the spotlight with Howard, both boasting 85 made threes from their rookie seasons. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Clark had a scare when she rolled her ankle and had to step off the court briefly. 
The best part? She returned to the court in the second quarter and sank the record-tying three-pointer over Howard's outstretched arms. By the end of the night, Clark was on fire. She dropped 19 points, dished out seven dimes, grabbed seven boards, snagged two steals, and even swatted a block. All this while only turning the ball over twice and shooting six of 14 from the field. The six-foot rookie guard is out here playing like a veteran. All right, squad, we're locked in on Caitlin Clark and the fever, but we wanna know what you wanna see next. Who's the player or topic that deserves a deep dive? Comments open below. With the win, the Fever improved to 14-16 and surpassed their win total from a season ago. Indiana's 14 wins mark its most since the 2016 season, when it finished 17-17, the same year the Fever made their last playoff appearance. Indiana guard Kelsey Mitchell led all scorers with 29 points on 10 of 23 shooting. Fever forward Aaliyah Boston tallied another double-double, registering 14 points and 11 rebounds in the win. The Fever aren't slowing down. Up next, they're facing off against the Connecticut Sun, the number two seed in the league, and it's going down on Wednesday, Aug 28, at 6 p.m. on NBA TV. This game is gonna be a test, but if the Fever keep this momentum going, they could really shake things up in the standings. Right now, the Fever are sitting in seventh, and they're creeping up on the Phoenix Mercury, who are holding down that number six spot. If Indiana can get on a hot streak, they might just secure a better seed for the playoffs. And we all know, once you're in the playoffs, anything can happen. As we head into the playoffs, all eyes are on Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. This team isn't just playing ball. They're building something special. They've got the talent, the heart, and the fans to make a deep run. Whether they're connecting with fans off the court or taking down giants on it, the Fever are proving they've got what it takes. And let's be real. Caitlin Clark isn't just a star on the rise. She's already shining bright. This girl's got that it factor and she's showing it every single night. So keep your eyes locked on the fever because they might just surprise everyone this postseason. All right, squad, that's the lowdown on Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. But we wanna know, who's the next player or topic you want us to dive into? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this conversation going. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. We're so close to that 10K mark and we need your help to get there. Until next time, keep it locked here for all things WNBA and we'll catch you in the next one.